so uh, thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador. So what do you think are your impression of Uncle Sankran? Well, all Americans really appreciate good culture, and the Kingdom of Cambodia has amazing culture, cultural heritage. And we are a good partner with the Cambodian people in helping to restore and protect cultural heritage. And as we heard the Prime Minister say today, to return looted artifacts to Cambodia. So it's a very nice celebration. We can all find common ground with cultural heritage. So what do you feel about Angkor Sankran 2023, sir? Well, I think this is a wonderful occasion. And the thing that's so nice to see is so many Cambodian people taking such pride in their national culture. And we're here in uh, Siem Reap in Angkor, the heart of Cambodian culture and civilization. So it's fantastic to be here for people to take pride in what this means for Cambodia. It's a wonderful celebration for people from across the country, families to come together, and I'm delighted to be part of it. The, the event has been very beautifully organized and it shows all the cultural um, cultural commonalities in fact between India and Cambodia because as you know India and Cambodia both celebrate New Year at this time so India is also celebrating its New Year today it's Tamil New Year and I see many traditions that are common between our countries and for me therefore it is a very important and significant event because it shows how close we are as uh, culturally and religious, religious, uh, you know, affinities between our countries. Um, how do you feel about joining Angkor Sankran, sir? Today? Well, I'm very uh, pleased to join this celebration uh, because after the, you know, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, Cambodian people can, you know, enjoy and uh, celebrate the new year yes, with sir. such a big uh, you know uh, scale of event and the people and i'm very happy to be one of the you know participants yes. so uh through the sankran event so uh what do you think that you have learned about our, our culture and you will share to your people well i was just discussing with uh, the two ministers the minister for women's affairs and the minister for culture about the arrival of the angel today at four o'clock this year and it's a great opportunity for me to wish a happy Khmer New Year to all Cambodians here in the kingdom and around the world. It's a great, it's a great occasion to welcome a new year, a new year of hope for peace and health and prosperity. And what do you hope to learn from the culture of Cambodia? Well, this is my first Khmer New Year in Cambodia. And so I'm learning a lot already. I'm learning a lot about the traditional games like Ankon that I played with our team at the embassy last week. I'm learning a lot about the history of Cambodia and what this means, the significance of this holiday for people. And I understand this is a time for families and communities to come together and celebrate their culture and their traditions. I would like to learn both traditional and the modern culture of Cambodia. Also because Cambodia will host the Sea Games and the ASEAN Para Games. So I would like to, I also would like to know the traditional sports of Cambodia. And I'm very lucky that I actually can see some, some of the sports events on this ground. So uh, through Angkor Sankran, uh, what do you hope to learn from our culture or what have you learned and uh, you will share to your people? Well, I think what I, what I learned and what is, uh, what is evident is how much we value our own, you know, our own traditions, our social cultural values of family, of community and of sharing. Uh, with our, you know, our communities, and that's what I feel is uh, the spirit of the new year, and uh, that's also the same in India. So I hope that uh, Indians will appreciate this. We have also done a little, you know, we celebrated in our embassy with the same traditions as you follow, uh, the tug of war and the uh, and the the games and so on and it reminded me of being in India. <laughs> uh, one more thing, Mr. Ambassador, uh, the U.S. Embassy just shared the video about the Khmer New Year and it showed uh, the Cambodian worker and farmer. So why did you make that video with a specific team? Well, thank you for watching the video. We had a lot of fun making that. We wanted to respect Cambodia, cultural traditions, but especially Cambodian workers, the, the kind of workers who do hard work every day. And sometimes we take that for granted but they're very, very good at what they do. And we wanted to pay respect and also have a little bit of fun. This is the year of the rabbit, and uh, I'm a rabbit myself. So I wanted to share that kind of fun with our Cambodian friends. Uh, 
how different or similar it is between the Cambodian and Indian cultures? It's absolutely very, very similar. I think much of our traditions are uh, flowing from each, you know, and flowing and uh, mixing uh, between our two cultures. Uh, much of uh, the Indic influence that came during the uh, early first century has been absorbed and has been uh, modified and preserved into a very vernacular, very traditional idiom, you know, traditional style here. And we have also similarly adopted many of your uh, local traditions into our our traditions as well. So it's very similar. Yes, thank you so yeah. much, Mr. Ambassador, for your time. Thank uh, you so much. Okay, recreate George Chanamtamai. Yes, recreate George Chanamtamai. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ambassador, Robert can run very fast. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I can run far, but not fast. No, you can run fast. <laughs> I'm sure you can run fast. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. <laughs> សាកលមកកាន់មកដូចជាយានយន្ត <cười> ឯធ្វើឲ្យការបើកបរបស់លោកអ្នកកាន់តែមានសុវត្ថិភាពសូមបញ្ជើញមើលទូរសេវាជាតិយានយន្ត